Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Today's list, it wouldn't be a week without a Nilfgaard deck. I'm a Nilfgaard player, baby. I, I just, I love the faction. I love it even more now with the Belly Girls. Uh, Rada and Mata, these cards are fantabulous, man. I, I absolutely love them. This card is auto-include in Nilfgaard. Auto-include. Eight-point body, three-point damage, and a lock flat out just the best card in the expansion no one no one can tell me different it's just it's fantastic i absolutely love it um this is a shoop list um if you want to you can add um the caller uh, i stuck with the tactile advantage just to possibly get maybe um something to stick on the board but if you want to add that extra damage uh, you can it's up to you uh going through the cards it's shoop list Mr. Uh, Repke, we're, we're looking out for you, sir. Um, Shoop's just a great card. I mean, uh, and you can pull it automatically with Mata. It's, they just, they shake hands, they're homies, they, they love each other. Um, Dylan Trentworth, um, you'll see in this, uh, this matchup here, it, uh, one of these matchups, it came up huge. One of them, it was a hindrance because I just bled too much, but, um, you got to be careful with this card, but it can actually, it, it, it can actually win you games. It really can. Um, Vincent, probably the second best card in the faction. Once again, a Nilfgaard card. Um, Nilfgaard got hooked up in uh, in the latest Afir expansion. Just hooked up. I love it. Uh, Rada, we mentioned uh, Mata. You know, you want to get your shoot. She guarantees it. Uh, next next pull is Villain, Villain Trentmurth or Mor Morland. Um, after that, if you don't have Rada, um, you might want to be careful because you can actually pull a fan, and that's not a fan at all. <laughs> you do not want to do that. Um, but still, as long as you're keeping an eye on the what's in your in your pile, um, you should be good to go. A fan, just a really nice finisher. Um, you got to be careful with your villain Trentmurth. That's going to be your play on your buffs. But if you could play around it, um, it's in your hands. You know what I mean? You just look at what you got. You're ready to go. Uh, Marl, another card. Uh, fantastic. The neutrals, I was like kind of skeptical on the neutrals. I'm like, man, I hope they don't print no more neutrals. Um, these cards are great, man. These cards add so much diversity to the game, it's not even funny. You know, you got poison. It can it, it, Even if you wanted to play this in another deck... Um, it doubles up the poison, so if they don't kill this, you kill whatever you just poison, or if they purify it, but still, um, the card has a high ceiling. It can, it can absolutely wreck something on second to last, say, if they don't have that purify. Um, a fan we mentioned, um, yeah, just don't have that in hand. That's extreme mulligan fodder. Bribery, there's a lot of NR going around. Um, this card can really, really low roll on, in that case, which... That's what you, I mean. Honestly, that's what you get for playing this card. It, it you know, it's 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 RNG at its finest uh, or worst, whichever one you prefer. The card's just either really, really great, but uh, you can pull some shit if you're playing against Nilf card. I'm not gonna lie. Swears can get kind of awkward if you want to switch something up. You can maybe play uh, um, maybe Helge if you want to. It's a nice bait card. Um, Or maybe even um, Menno is a possibility. I, I just was having a hard time getting this card to get some value. So if it seems like it's giving you problems, you know, maybe switch it out. Give it a try, though. You know, it can't hurt. Um, uh, Sayer, it's a nice uh, turn one play if you are on uh, blue or it depends. If you're on, if you're on blue coin turn one... It's kind of hard for NR to kill this, um, especially if you play it on the melee row because they have to, you know, it takes a second for their cards to, they all have orders for the most part. So um, this is a nice uh, jump up play. You can get, uh, you can get ahead pretty quick on blue with this. Um, the cup bear, this card's auto include for anything you're playing Nilf card. If you're playing assimilate, it's great. If you're playing poison, it's great. It's just great. I mean, the card purifies something. There's poison everywhere. Um, so you got to be aware of that. Assassination, you got to have removal. There's a lot of engines. 
there's a lot of greedy play going around so assassination piercing missile and uh attorney jouster in here um knight and tortoise um you do have a lot of poison so it's not that big of a deal and the tortoise makes it kind of awkward with the damage it, you know if they do want to play something that does damage it it kind of makes them hesitate so they play it they might wait a turn then you kill it and they feel super bad raw tosser um if you're going up against nr i'd probably play this round one uh just to get one of the reinforced uh ballistas out of their hand purifier or uh diviner just a nice way to bust through that defender you do have damage in hand and you can't poison shit if there's a defender in the way so if you uh, purify it, you're good to go. Tourney Joust, just a nice removal play. If you are going up against NR, they're playing Trebs. Uh, you can nuke one of those, no problem. Battle Prep, always mulligan fodder. You don't want this card in hand. Uh, Fangs of the Empire, just a nice uh, poison play along with King Cobra. Uh, Magni Division, borderline mulligan fodder along with the Recruit. You know, they're just... They're so-so. And then... Um, the Hunter, this card's incredible. The the four provision cards that were printed this time, I love them because they all have these options. You know, the the Hawk and Scoyatel, this and Nilfgaard. Just, uh, I love them. I love cards with options, and this card is just fantastic. I just love that Nilfgaard got vampires. I love that Nilfgaard has an even evil so eviler side than they already had. i just huge fan. And then uh, the Knife Juggler, um... Just if it just be a good player, don't draw it. You're good. But uh, here's a couple games, guys. Like always, thank you for watching. Cheers. I'm even having a couple beverages. I don't normally do that, but I'm I'm on vacation. I'm having a good time. Hope you guys are having a good time with this va uh, with this expansion. I'm I'm loving it, man. I think Gwent. This expansion right here is what set Gwent up to just show people that it's not just this net deck you know like everybody plays the same thing there's so many options now so many tech choices in the neutral cards that they printed i really think even though they're neutral cards they add diversity to every faction so just awesome job cdpr here's a couple games i will see you guys at the end what did we get another hensel <laughs> Those I'm gonna try, sir. So we got our Seer. That's gonna die no matter what. Let's drop the Falcon. Poison, poison. Get rid of the battle prep. So. I think we lead off with the Saber. He needs a turn to... Oh, no. We're on blue. Tried him. Tried him! Huh. Hmm. He needs two pings. Where does he get it from? I don't think I want to use these piercing missiles. I think I need them. And I want to save my lock. Let's go back row. Let's see if it lives. It needs two turns. Where does he get two pings from? They need a turn to jump start. He could play knighthood, but boy, is that a waste. Okay, so he plays... He gets it. Butchling. Okay, that does it. I will say though, now, huh. 
We locked the botchling, right? That's just too much value. Next, we play the Magni. We got poison, poison, poison. Oh shit! Left, right. Left, Why there? Right. He's gonna purify it. Why here? I'm confused. We got time. We got poisons. He's losing a nine if he doesn't use his Kodok. He passes, so I can't get this in one card, unfortunately. Wait. I play Villain Trentmouth, right? So we pass and it goes off, right? Good old Bork! Alright. So we gotta bleed him. They just have too much short round power here. We got our shoot. That's good. We got a nice turn one play. We got some removal. One, two, three, four poisons. Po possibly four poisons. I think we drop the Magni though. That's good. Possibly five poisons. We got an answer for one of his sieges. And this is gonna pull um Rada, correct? Ten provisions, nine provisions. Yes. I like this. This seems good. So we start off with Notice. the knight. All to then I think we go Raida. We pull our Armada to pull Raida. Whoa, Eratuza. Okay, so he might be running archers. As you wish, I think that's a kill. If he has a charge bringer, that's going to be horrible for us. All right. He hasn't played his Kodak yet. That's that's the key here. We just gotta get that. We gotta get that siege out of him. Anna Stranger naked. What? He is a madman. An absolute madman. With me, you'll forget your sorrows. All right. So he. He plays. Whoa, an out of hand knight. We lock this. It's too valuable. Too valuable. It gives us a really shitty swears, but at least we got one. Winning night out of hand. So we got twenty one. 
We just gotta get that siege out of it. Really? Kedwinny Knight. And he doesn't have the siege. Now where does... Vernon Roach. Oh shit, here we go. Alright, so he gets no bleeds off that. He gets nothing off of that. And portal. What's he pulling with the portal? Okay. Nice. Um. I think we take the poison now. Wait. He's gonna play knighthood back here. Do we play the shoot now or do we wait? I think we wait. We can kill that with more Morland. So he plays Hengath now. He got really unlucky on these bleeds. Dandelion, holy shit. With pleasure. Alright, so what's he gonna he's gonna play Shawnee next? What do we play here? We go moral. He who knows too much Kill that. Dies too soon. So he has he has to play something that he wants to kill. If he doesn't kill this, we just kill something. Would he stay? He wouldn't play Siege if he doesn't have... He wouldn't play Siege in this deck with Portal and all this, so he's not playing s scenarios. I can kill a 7 or... I, well, I killed Dandelion, right? Unfortunately, I... Oh, Sean, here it comes. Okay. Does he play it back row? That's cool. Greedy bastard. Greedy bastard. So we poison Shawnee. It's melee, right? Yep. Greedy's best served blood eating in its juices. And if he doesn't pass us here, I think this is where we pass. Maybe one more card. This hurt. This hurt bad. Once again, Rada. Value killer. Alright. So he goes formation. Greedy bastard. Greedy bastard. So, he still has... How does he fit Shawnee or uh, Philippa and Falibor in that deck? I think this is where we get out. That's just too much. We got the portal out of him. We got. Ooh! Try one more. Ensult. You want peace? Fight for it. So we got a bleed. Drop a fan.
Do we drop the raw tosser? Poison, poison. We got it somewhere. I think we drop the recruit. This never lives. So we play this on melee. Damage a unit by two. So... This is range, this is melee, this is wherever. Are we gonna find a Sweers target? I think we go melee because they're probably gonna have trebs. So he hits us, he damages it by two. This is a nice answer for a treb if he doesn't TA it. Really? With me, huh. you'll forget okay. your sorrows. So we got answers for some stuff. Do we want to play a poison now? We either hit a five or a six. I think we go raw tosser because they can play around it later he wastes two damage here if he does kill it he does not so he's not worried about the poison burning oil okay So, I don't think we get cute here. If he wants to Kodok later, would he waste his Kodok early thinking that I'm poison? Let's just play the tortoise. If he wants to hit it, he can. We can play the knight and buff up the motto. He did. Boy, I got greedy there. But, I mean, later on, to be fair, yeah, to be fair, There's the Treb TA as well. No TA. Okay. So we kill that. The Swears is what's making it awkward here. This is going to be key. Avalok, really? So he's going for the 50 50 here. I lost. Fog, okay. Oh, he got the 50 50. So if we go poison. How does he purify that? 
They only run Kodok. Random Peller. Alright. I mean, we had to burn a poison, but... I am a great artist. Oh, shoot. It's not enough, is it? We gotta use one leader ability. No, that's enough. We got 20. So we gotta bleed them. They just have too much power. We got the Bork. Drop this. Where do we get another poison at? I think we have to keep this for the the other treb. If we don't get a poison, this becomes super awkward. This is our only soldier, though. Okay. So we go Mata. This dance, you will never forget. We got shoot. Siege Tower. We do not care. Save our lock. The real question is, will Bork be able to find a target? And will Sweers actually find a target? What's three strength in that deck? Enchantress. Okay, so it's gonna find a target possibly here. Your arrow shall fly straight and ever strike your foes. <clears throat> so that's gonna go up to nine, so we at least get that. Gonna go up to nine. Do we give it poison? It sounds like a fun debate. See what happens with it. He didn't play any trebs. This siege, and he just plays this. So we got it out of him. I think we. This ranged battering ram melee damage the highest enemy unit by three. We're okay with that. If we hit this, it goes to a four. I think we hit this. 
we lock this. Ping this. And then that's our Swears target. Knighthood would kind of suck. Twenty-four. So we play the Swears. We get a little bit of value. What's this hit for? One. Let's get one charge on it. Then we play Bork. Tamaria has yet to speak its last. Will he kill it? Twenty three. All right, so we're out. <laughs> but I think it's a fine bleed. We got his leader out of him. I have Shoop, Dylan Trenton Mirth, and I have my leader still. I think it's a fine bleed. We got his Siege out of him. He needs two, two turns to kill this, possibly. Bribery's okay. What do we pull with bribery though? Lock's good. Drop this. Okay. We go first. They don't run. Oh no, he goes first. Um. Not without good reason. Hold my stern. So he's gonna boost something, do we care? What can I pull out of his deck? I could pull another Mata. I could pull Avalok. He played two Trebs already, so. So we got the the Avalon. It's time. That's not too bad. It's not inspired anymore, so it just buffs it up. If it's a ranged unit, I can lock it. Bombardment, really? So he loses value on that. We just play this. I divined this move from a sparrow's ears. I think the lock's gonna be huge. Boiling oil. What? Might be an issue. I guess we just put all a bloody baron, really. <laughs> We've a hero in our midst. So if we go damage I 
think we just lock it. The hounds have caught us. So, Philippa's four, three, two, one. One thing still lives. was a mistake. So we go... We go shoot. And we go... Hunter. Damage an enemy unit, destroy an artifact, boost an allied unit. We go damage. So if he has Philippa, that'll help. We're getting a five out of the graveyard. We're putting the boost on Bork. Triss into what? Hit the eight. Oh, he went boost. Okay. So we go Bork. We give it a boost. Put this on the top. The continent will quake. Thirty five. I think I lose because it burns my own eight. Philippa. <laughs> it didn't go off. Nice. <laughs> Good game. Hey, that's the video for today, guys. I'm a Nilfgaard player, I can't help it. I gotta put out at least one Nilfgaard video a week. I'm on vacation, I'm even having a couple beverages. I don't normally drink and play, but I just wanna say cheers, man. You guys have been absolutely incredible, man. I I just, I hope you guys are you know, all squared away for Christmas. I hope you're loving the new expansion. I just, I'm just eternally grateful for you guys. So thank you guys so much. I will see you guys next time.